everyone, this is Elisa from Anaya's Toy Box Crochet and I'm here to show you what I've been up to. Thank you all for coming and joining me and watching me while I show off my makes. I love doing it. I'm so glad you guys come. Uh, you can find me on social media as Anaya's Toy Box. I am on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Ravelry and Etsy. All the links are linked down below in the description box. Okay, so what have I been up to? Yes, it's the prints. I have been up to the prints. I don't have it anymore. I will put up a picture somewhere over there. Uh, yeah, I know I, I didn't finish. I was supposed to finish it by the first, but I mean, seriously, I took it on myself. It was my fault. I should have pushed harder. But on December 11th, they approached me and said, hey, can you make an Alice design and make an Alice doll by the 25th? Uh, no, they said design and make an Alice and zombie prince charming doll by the 25th and i said no so then they said by the first so i thought about it and i thought okay i could probably make the alice doll by the 25th if it was a simpler they wanted a rag doll and that will still give me a week and a half to finish or oh yeah because i was thinking i'd finish it by the 17th so i can mail it out so they get it in time for the 25th that didn't happen uh, and then I thought I could probably do the prints in the rest of the days and still get it out in the first, get it ready for the first. I was wrong because not only did that happen, they also asked for a Pinocchio doll in the middle and they said they want the Pinocchio first, but they still want the prints in the first. And I said, I'll try, which I shouldn't have. I should have pushed back and said, there's no way I can make three dolls at the timeline you're giving me, but I didn't. So it was my fault and it was very stressful. But I finally finished him. He had lots and lots of little details, but he's done. And you have probably been seeing his picture somewhere this whole time. <laughs> he's sent off. I do like the way he turned out. It is the first time I designed a male body, so I'm kind of proud of myself about that. Uh, anyways, she's back because, you know, I worked so hard on her. I needed to show her off more than once. But anyways, um, that is one of my FOs, which hopefully you saw a picture. Hi. My second FO, hi, that's my son, is this little heart. This is a, I just, I was making squares and I had leftover yarn and I wasn't going to make another square because that was the last square I worked on. Uh, I don't have it here to show you though. And uh, I didn't want to stash because the whole point was to de-stash all my working yarn. So I decided I'm going to make a little heart and the rest of whatever is left over is going to go in a basket. This is my heart pattern. It is available in my Ravelry store. It's a buck. It's a paper pattern. But if you really want to make it and you don't want to pay for it, I do have a YouTube tutorial for it. So if you go to my playlist and look up tutorials, you'll find a tutorial for this. But I made the heart. I'll probably be making a few more of them, I think. You know, when I don't want to stash yarn and I want to use up whatever's left over. So that was my second FO. My third FO, which I'm going to turn into a keychain, by the way, I'm going to put the findings and whatever to make it into a keychain. This one I finished yesterday, and this is the cowl to go with the hat. The weaves, the ends are not weaved in yet. This is a cowl to go with the knitted hat I made. This is, I guess, a Ross cowl. I mean, I made a Ross hat, and then I just took that same pattern and did a Ross hat. Uh, I, I just adjusted it to make it into a cow. <laughs> not yet, baby. Put that down. Thank you. Or not. I'm stealing it. No, I need that. That's why it's here. Oh. Okay, I have a lot of that yarn left over. And oh my gosh, I know what I want to do with this yarn. I want to make a stuff the body cat. Oh my gosh, I really want to make a stuff the body cat with What's it. That? I don't even have the pattern for that. And I can't buy another one because I bought two when I wasn't supposed to. Stuff the body. Stuff the body is a designer, mm -hmm. and I want she has, she makes what you know no so animal uh, designs. Mm -hmm. So and they're very beautifully detailed. I have a cat. I have a standing cat, and this might end up being the standing cat instead of the sitting cat because you know I'm not buying another pattern because I still have to finish the ones I bought. Because remember on New Year's Eve I bought two patterns. I broke my rules of not buying a pattern until I'm ready to work for it. I'll work on it. But anyways, I want to make a stuff the body cap with the rest of this. By the way, this is uh, Elise Burkham Batik. I think I called it something else last time. 
That's what I used to make. What did the cow go? Are you wearing it? <laughs> He's wearing it. I can't show it to you again. But anyways, uh, I want to make a cat out of this. It might be a stuff the body cat next time you see it, whenever that will be. I'm working on other projects also. I don't know. Yes, so uh, that's a cow, a cow, sweetie. Yeah, that's the cow. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, so I'm working on other projects now that I I'm going to show you this one first. I didn't work on it much. Now that I finished the commissions, I have time or I, to go back to what I was working on, and this is one of them. I did not make too much of it to tell you the truth. It is going to be a shawl at one point, whenever I finish it. Now, where is the stitch marker? Uh, this is the stitch marker I won from the Precious Yarnery. I'm using that to show you where I am. I only did this much. That's all I did. It is, I, I don't know, I was really into it before I had to put it aside. And now it's sort of like, ooh, it's okay. I want to work on something else. I am working on with this hook. This is an Ami hook. It's a seven millimeter hook. Um, I got it from Amazon and I'm not sure about it. There is a lot of drag when I'm working with this hook. I mean, I did most of it with it. I, I didn't take out my, uh, I didn't take out my frills to do any of this. I did most of it with this hook, but I find there's a little bit of a drag when I'm working with it. And I'm not sure if it's because the, of the yarn, the yarn is very fuzzy or if it's because of the hook. I don't know. I'm going to continue. I'm going to finish it off with this hook and we'll see. Maybe it is, what, maybe whenever I make, whatever I make with the leftover yarn, I'll find, or, oh, the border is done with a smaller hook. I'll be using the frills then. So we'll find out if it's the hook or if it's just the yarn. This, by the way, is the um, pattern by Creative Grandma. It is called, did I already say it? Shawl of Hope. Uh, anyways, that's that work in progress. Now, my other works in progress, I went back and, you know, started reworking on the doll that I had uh, started. And this doll is tiny. I might have to make another doll with this yarn. So I discussed how I was going through my old sh shepias, shipjis, shippies, uh, two weight cotton yarn. And I have been making hexagons to make a big blanket out of it just so I can, because I want it used, it needs some love. And it's been sitting in my stash forever and not getting any love. So I started making this doll. This doll was always something that I wanted to make. It's got this, uh, a strawberry stitch dress, which I'm very interested in making. And uh, so I thought, I'll just make this one. But this doll is so tiny. Look at how big it is. I, granted, it's a two-weight yarn, and now that I think about it, I didn't make the doll before, uh, but I made lots and lots of dolls. Now that I think about it, the other doll was pretty small, too. Um, so, it is what it is. I'm making a tiny one, but I might make another out of this, because this was, I talked about how this is my favorite skin tone, but I've had it forever, and I haven't reached for it in years to make a doll, because I haven't been making stuff with two-weight yarn too much dolls with two, mate, two weight yarn. And so I had decided that I'm going to work through all of it, uh, work through, work one more doll with it, and then I'll make the rest for a blanket. Well, I'm not satisfied with the size of this doll, so I might make another doll with it before I make a hexagon out of it. I'm still making hexes, by the way. I don't have them with me because they live in my purse. Uh, I stopped for the week I had off, but now that I'm at work again, I'm using it, I'm making them on the subway. But anyways, this is the doll. This is a doll pattern by, and her, her, her name, her uh, Ravelry, her designer name or business name is by Erica Du. So it is a doll pattern that is by, by Erica Du, and I believe she has it listed on Ravelry as Poppet, the name. It will be linked down below. But uh, I did mention that uh, one, one year she decided to give anyone who tested this doll, which yes, I did. Uh, she made a book out of it with this, this doll base and all the doll outfits that she designed for this base. And she gave it, for, gave it to all her testers as a Christmas gift. So I have not made that dress before, but I made the doll before. But anyways, I'm using a two millimeter tulip hook. 
I don't show off my hooks often enough, do I? Do you see that? It's a two millimeter tulip hook. The reason I'm using a tulip instead, tulip, I love tulip, it's really, really good. It's just a little short. So since I have a knife grip, it sometimes hits over here in a way that's not the most comfortable. Uh, but this one's okay. Uh, I use it a lot. Uh, but I bought these ones mainly because I couldn't find a two millimeter clover hook, clover amur hook. So I'm using my tulip two millimeter hook for this doll. I like the way it's turning out. Uh, I wish I was further, but you know me, I can't work on one project. Even in one day, I work on like two or three projects at a time. And so I have to get on to those. Remember, I bought those two patterns. I don't know if you know this, but let me just recap. I had made a goal for myself that I had stashed so many patterns, which I only have three left to finish, by the way, that uh, I have paid for. And I decided that this was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to, it's, it's always in the back of my head, like, hey, you paid for that pattern and you didn't make it. Hey, you paid for that pattern. Ah, my self dialogue is not the kindest. But anyways, I had decided that I'm just gonna work through all those paid for patterns, which I have been doing. I did 12 last year, I have three left. And um, I wouldn't buy a pattern unless I was ready to start working on it at that moment. So I'll look through patterns, I'll save them, but I won't buy it until I'm ready to work on it. Well, these pad patterns, when I found them, because I looked for it, because I wanted to make an alien, uh, here's the head. When I found the pattern, um, it was on sale. And it was only going to be on sale for one hour more. I found it at the tail end of the sale and I got it. I got this and another pattern. So obviously I have to work on this instead of the cat that I showed you that I'm like, that has to be a cat or any other projects I have, like uh, the fruits yarn where I want to make a dolphin out of it. I'm not working on that. I'm working on this because I paid for the pattern and I need to work on it. So this is the, the alien doll. It is a very, very cute doll. But I wish I paid more attention to the uh, picture uh, because they, it had this beautiful eyes and it was cut out in felt. But I'm not good at cutting out stuff. Like I can cut out like the eye shape and it'll be beautiful, but I won't be able to do the second one just as beautiful. Like it won't be the same. And I don't have a Cricut and I, I would love to get a Cricut, but really I don't have the space for it. So I don't have a Cricut to do it. And so I'm gonna to have to figure out the eyes. I'm thinking I'm going to crochet it in a lighter weight yarn. So this is just yarn, worsted, just yarn, worsted. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh, the stitch marker is, oh, that's because that's the finger. All right, uh, I got this from Wendy uh, from uh, a giveaway. I won from Wendy, She she's called Crochet Done My Way. When, with Wendy, I believe. Crochet down my way with Wendy. Uh, she gave me a huge box of yarn that, yes, I did win. And this is one of them. There's a few skeins of this, so I'm pretty sure I have enough yarn for it. I am using an e-hook for this project uh, because I have been using an F-hook. And I would kind of wish I used an F-hook for this one because I'm going to have to put this dab. This, this is a chopstick, by the way. I'm going to have to stick it into the head. There's no holes like... Um, like there's no holes. She didn't take into account that we're going to put a stick in there. She expects us to be able to put it into the stitches and it might have worked. It probably worked for her. So she thought it works. I crochet tight. I'm not sure I'll be able to get that in. So I might have to do something else. This might come out. But for now, uh, I do wish that I'm going to have to figure out the eyes. I'm probably going to crochet it. I might needle felt it, but I don't know if I have enough. Like I got from Amazon these small little packets and they're fine for eyes that are on these dolls, on this doll, because they're small. The eyes are small, so they're fine. I'm not sure I have enough for something like this. So we'll see what happens. I might needle felt it, I might crochet the eyes, and in which I'll have to make up a pattern. You would think after like the big rush I had to finish the the things, I'd be done with amigurumi, but all I want to make is amigurumi. Okay, so my last whip that I'm going to show you is the blanket. Now I have been showing you off the squares and I've been working on the squares as you know when I needed to de-stress from the designing of the other ones. 
Well, I've started attaching it. It is going to look strange because not that I could show you the whole thing. I'm not going to be able to take a picture to show it to you, unfortunately. I can't show you the whole thing, but this is what it looks like. So far, I am doing this weird way of attaching so that I do a continuous join. This is it. They all have like gray borders. Yeah, I chose gray to join. Why? And I chose to, at first I thought I'd just single crochet it together. Since there's so much texture, the single crochet wouldn't make a difference. But there's so many different colors. I wanted to put it in neutral between the colors just to soften it up. Uh, and so I chose gray because I had a huge, let me see if I can get it out. Although I'm, this is going down faster than I thought I, it would. I had this skein. It was brand new when I started. Uh, the worsted eight. So this is like eight ounces of uh, yarn. And I thought this will be enough for me to join and make a small border. I'm not sure about the small border thing. So I might have to use some other yarn to make the small border. But anyways, this is what I have done. It is going to be four by six. I made 24 of these squares. I can't get it all in the camera. And unfortunately, I did not take a picture of it. So I don't have it to show you. I'm working it in a weird way. Like this, those two rows, the widths I've done, I don't want to, sorry, I just don't want to untangle. I have to untangle the yarn a bit. All right. And then I have this long where I did the by six. So I'm working in a weird way. I, uh, I did the six. I attached the six, which is the length on one row only. And then now I'm, I'm, I'm attaching. So I did all the way up to here. Then I attached this one and I finished to the other end, which is the four. And then I'm working on these sides afterwards. So I have one right here attached. Oh my gosh. I have this one attached and I have to attach one here and I'll work to this back to the long strip again and then back again and blah, blah, blah. That's how I'm doing it. It will hopefully, depending on how much time I give it, whether I give more time to this one or those whips, it'll hopefully be ready for you tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Next week. Next week when I film. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of chat. This is already a bit of a long video, but I'm so excited. I need to talk to you about these two things. I promised. My husband got me this. Check it out, okay? This is really why this doll is here. Here's a doll stand. I got this in Joanne. Ages and ages ago, I got it because it was a dollar and I thought, ooh, having a doll stand would be cool. Where's my doll? Check out this toy. So my birthday is next week, so this is kind of like an early birthday present. Um, I knew about it because he asked me if this would be useful and I said yes, and as soon as it came, I needed to use it. This doll stand is a little big. See, she doesn't reach the ground. But let me show you how it works. I have to get a new doll stand, but oh my gosh, isn't it so cool? <sighs> I am so happy with this. I am planning to take video after video of after video of all the dolls that I make. Because this is amazing. Isn't that amazing? This is going to be my Instagram reels for a while. I think for every doll. But not yet. I need to get a better doll stand first. Or figure out how to put her on in a way that works. But anyways, isn't this so exciting? I am so happy with it. It is an early birthday present. My birthday is next Thursday. Uh, yeah. I love it. And the next thing I want to talk about, which again, I'm excited about. Okay. Um, the first YouTuber that I... like. I've been on crochet. I've been doing crochet for a long time and I was very, very active on Facebook. I'm not anymore, but I was very, very active on Facebook. And for me, YouTube was a tool in which if I couldn't figure something out, I'd go to YouTube and see how people would do it. I never used to watch the yarn chat type videos, like the ones I make. I didn't used to watch them. I didn't even know they existed. And one day I got a recommendation for a channel called Summer's Tips and Stitches. And so I started watching that and that just led to everybody else. I started watching everybody else after that, but I love watching Summer's Tips and Stitches. And uh, I don't know, 
I, I am a little bit of a fan, and I like giving out gifts when I'm a fan. Like, I've given out some gifts to people of things that I've made, just because I'm a fan of them. And uh, I wanted to give her a gift. But maybe it's it's just me. I have, She has three children, and I felt like it would be strange if I give just her an amigurumi and not her three children. And because of that, I haven't ended up doing it. I haven't sent her a gift. And uh, the other day I was watching her video and uh, <laughs> in the background, I noticed something. I don't know who I, I forget who I gifted this to, but I, I was putting, I was making all these, you know, octos, the d dabbling hook octos. And I must have put that in a bag for somebody I don't remember who and they passed it on to Summer so in her video you could see I put a picture of the doctor here you could see that one she has one of my oh my gosh I'm so <laughs> listen I always say if I give you anything and you don't like it or you feel like there's somebody else who could appreciate it more feel free to pass it off definitely uh, I am a ad total advocate of if you don't appreciate something quite so much, you should give it to someone who can appreciate it. And I am not offended by whoever gave it to her, but I am tickled. I am so tickled that she has something of mine. Anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about. Okay, I'm back on here. Um, I'm gonna put this inside the video somewhere because I forgot to mention Ami Gurumi wears congratulations Zara Tabassum for winning Ami Gurumi wears 2022 and I can't wait to see all of you 2023. Uh, Anita has our Anita Y.O.H crochet has already started Ami Gurumi uh, uh, 2023 and this year you could use any amigurumi you like so i hope you guys enter send her your pictures so we can see who wins uh anyways i just wanted to mention amigurumi words it started uh anyways back to my video and uh i hope you enjoyed this video it's a bit of a long one you think after all that pressure i'd be like decompress and do something else but no i want to crochet i just don't want to crochet with pressure no deadlines well I do have something coming up in the works that I will not show you because it's a secret project. But uh, I'll show, you know, I do have something coming up. I'll work. I'm just decomposing for a little bit and then I'll start again. But for now, that's what I have. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. I know it's a long one. Um, and if you'd like to hear more from me, please subscribe.